here one Jeremy Dump with the racer guy and we are back at Shawnee so I brought the car back found out some things from last time the clutch was still slipping a little bit so um still working on that trying to get that fixed so it's not I mean it was pretty much engaged but it's slipping a little bit so trying to hopefully get all the power down I also found out some stuff with the setup um, across was way off so got us on the scales got a little bit of setup work done so anxious to get back out there but there's a lot of cars here tonight Preston, Preston's got his flat card here. What up? So a lot of, lot of carts, so it should be some good competition. So looking forward to it and see how that thing runs again. All right, so the Sportsman Heat Race, first race of the night, and just sitting on stage, you know, I had a feeling that the brakes weren't working. And when I pretty much hit the track, I, I knew for sure they weren't working. And anyone who says you don't need brakes on a race car is a liar. And that right there is just a right hand turn. The left front brake was still working, it's just the rear. The key stock actually fell out, so no rear brakes at all. Not a very good way to start out. This car too, you can, it's just, it's got too much gear and it. it's pinging down the straightaway. I can't drive it in that hard, I just can't set the car in. At this point I know for sure it has no brakes. Rear brakes anyways. So I'm just making laps trying to finish this and not crash or do anything stupid. That's pretty much the first race of the night out. Not a very good way to start. But we didn't tear anything up. And this is the 500B feature, the heat race I just didn't get. It was pretty much boy, just follow the leader, nothing really happened. And you can see already, my uh, luck is already, it's the same. This is not feeling like my night already. The car's actually handling a lot better. But that gear is still off. So we're getting through the corners pretty good. It's just, it's just still the, the engine is pinging down the straightaway right off the corners. Whoa. And that's, a, that's the second right hand turn that this card has made. And what we figured out is that where the tie rod shaft comes into the steering shaft there, it's just the tie rod links were wrong, but the, the steering shaft was actually camming over and locking the right front wheels out. So actually I was driving the car harder, it was getting faster, but if I turned it too far to the right, it would just lock the wheels out. That's why we were turning right. So I'm definitely not gonna push the car again because I about went over the turn. I don't want to put this thing upside down against the wall. But that's just one more thing we have to fix when we get back. We cannot have the, the steering shaft camming over. You can see the car's all right. 
I'm not pushing it that hard, that's for sure. I don't want any more right hand turns. Still need some need some gear taken out. Handling good though. Putting that cross in definitely helped it. This is the last lap. I think that's enough from night one. Night one is pretty much the same all night long. Even I'm tired of seeing this right here. One finished. Uh, it was all right night. Uh, the cart was actually pretty fast. Just I don't know. I still think we're a little off of gear. It's still peeking down the straightaway, so we're gonna do a gear change. The cart was fast. Just I don't know. Just didn't have the brakes. So we weren't faster than anyone, but I don't think we were slower than anyone. So we we're we we're right there. But um, night two, uh, the B feature last night. Same thing kind of happened. Sportsman A. Same thing. I didn't. I lost my uh, GoPro battery, so I didn't get any footage of it, but not a whole lot happened. It kind of started and stayed, the track rubber down, so we just thought it was kind of follow the leader. So we'll see tonight. Tonight's going to be a different night. Um, might have a good starting spot. I think I had a good draw on one of the, one of the heats, so I'm going to make a gear change, hot lap, and see how I like that. See if it's, you know, helps me not ping. Maybe I can run the top side a little better, too. There's a lot of cards here tonight. Jace did really good last night. He got in a few, uh, a few little bent stuff going on, but uh, the card's still running good. He ran good. He actually made the 250A main, so transferred to the B, so that's it's pretty good here. So um, but we're both going to get the cards ready and see what we can do tonight. All right, so night number two. First race of the night is a sportsman heat race. We put that gear change in. That that brought the car to life, I think. It finally got some speed down the straightaways. And I actually got a good draw on this one too. Drew, drew the pole. Not a very good start, but still better than starting tailback. And finally, I feel like this car is actually working. It's getting down the straightaway. It's a little tight getting to the center. But it's really close. First race out of the night, second place. I'll take it, that's pretty good. Especially considering the night before. So I just saw the lineup and um, we actually won our heat race. So I finally won something here at a Shawnee, Oklahoma for the 500 Open Outlaw, won my heat. That puts outside front row for the A feature, which is, a great starting spot, I'll take it. So, um, yeah, it was, if, a lot of you know the struggles I've had with that car. Um, it's new, I mean, I struggle with the engine and everything, so to finally get it running is good. And to finally win something with it is a lot better, so I feel it was great. I know it's just a heat race, but it feel, <laughs> still a win, I'm gonna take it, so. But um, outside front row for the big feature, that's great. You had to win the heat race to bake, to make day feature, so 
it was just not an easy show to make. So that's still a victory to me. So, but we still got Dave Future coming up, and I got a, I got a chance to win it. The car is actually running good. The lap times are really good. So um, if we can get some luck. We still can still pull off a W by the end of the night. So stay tuned. So yes, I won my heat race for the 500 Outlaws. And that put his front row outside for the A feature. But this is the Sportsman A feature here. For the 500 A feature, got the Sportsman A feature. My main thing is I just don't want to tear this card up. But it gives me some good time to get some time on the track and just kind of see what the card's doing. And already I can tell that it's got way too much side by. It's bouncing all over the track. And it feels like the right rear is just going to roll off the off the wheel. My other goal in this race is to not tear the car up because I still got the main, you know, the big show coming up after this race, starting outside the front row. So I don't want to break anything in this race. You can see the cart in front of me. It looks like he's having the same problem. He's bouncing all over. And... The track just got some bite into it. And we're just a little bit too hooked down, I think. So right now I'm thinking exactly what adjustments I'm gonna make for the A feature coming up. And I'm pretty thankful for this time on the track. last lap. This is kind of just a boring race once we get all strung out. But at least I didn't tear the car up. But the only thing I didn't take in consideration is them watering the track down, which they did right after this race. So I kind of took a gamble. Do I, do I go with the setup I had? I mean, the setup I had had been great on a wet track all night. So after they watered it down, I just went ahead and figured to, not to change anything. And I pretty much guessed wrong. This is the A feature, the big show. At least we made it in this race. And not only did we make it in, we made it on we qualified on the front row. This is a great starting spot. Actually, get a pretty decent start here, but already I can just tell just going in that corner of the car is very, very tight. I definitely should have took a little bit of side bite out. You can just see it bouncing. It's tight getting in.
Another car getting underneath me, getting in the corner, and it's just... I just like a little freer. Look at my head bouncing around there. Oh! Yeah, a little slide, just, I don't know, touch wheels there, something happened. Killed the car. And that pretty much took us out of position right there. But you never know, they could still crash them up front. At least it wasn't turned up on my side like that. hard to go anywhere we got a little bit of speed but it's not enough to really make any good passes some more cards getting together Clicking off laps here. Pretty fast pace. Start to see some carts kind of going all over the place here. And that's checkered flags. That was a race right there. Ended up 10th. So not so bad. Top 10. Um, things really didn't go our way. But it could have been a lot worse so all right so turkey shootouts over and um second night i think was better than the first night for sure so i think we figured oh. some things out not in the heat race not in the heat race for you for me the heat race was good one one my 500 open so that was pretty good that was that was a victory in my book especially the way we started out so but yours um uh, cart rolled over on top of me on top of my hood actually yeah uh, and my 250. Preston, what about you? Yeah. How'd you? We're talking about heat race feature. Both. Anyways. The whole event. What do you think? Pretty fun. fun. First time here. I How like, like it. The track. I like it. It's a good track. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> it's definitely different for a car track. Yeah. I mean, there's no car tracks that's usually this heavy and high bank. In cool. I think that's our only trophy for the weekend. Well, you got money. You got money. 
Chase got money, I got nothing. But I made the A feature, so I um, started outside front row, had a little slide job there, knocked me out. But um, it's all right. So, but the car was definitely better than it had been, so I think that was good. Chase, not a wing feature, looked awesome. Third for you, so that was good. But um, hopefully we'll be back at some point. Car in one piece. My got front a, nose piece almost isn't. Yeah, I got a broken nerf bar, but that's it. That's not that's not bad at all. So we'll take it. Uh. So my takeaway from tonight is well first it's I think it's 3 a.m. so it's late. I'm tired. But um this weekend we like I said that was a new cart to me. Um I really didn't know. I just I pretty much just made a baseline up on it. Just trial and error. So I just kept working on it, working on it, working on it. And we worked as a team. Um, Jace, same thing with him. Um, this is really our second weekend to race the Outlaw Carts in a big series. I mean, we raced them at 3D a little bit, there's, and there's a handful of them out there. But um, this is a, definitely a different deal. There's some really good carts out here, so some of the best in the country for sure. So to actually win some stuff out here, qualify on the outside, just even make the A main, it's pretty good for second weekend out with a cart that I had no you know, no, no knowledge of or baseline of. So we got it working. That's the main thing. Um, like I said, we just trial and error, hard work. We just kept working at it, working at it. And Sean helped a lot tonight with some tires. And you know, Jason, Jason, just everybody on the team. Just really, we just kept sharing knowledge and just trying to make it better and better. So that's my takeaway. Just sometimes you just got to turn on them and get them going. But I think we finally got there. We weren't the fastest cart all night but it's still some speed to be to be gained so that's the main thing if it you know if there's still still more to be gained then you can still get faster so but that's what I that's my takeaway from this weekend so we made the show and um, we'll be back <laughs>